Uh, in this video, we'll be adding multi-language functionality to our WordPress website so that users in other countries are able to understand your content. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first we're going to install the G-Translate plugin. So what you want to do is go to Plugins, and then Add New. Okay, and then we're going to install this plugin right here. Then click Activate. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go to Settings and down here to G Translate. Okay, great. So here's the little widget that they'll provide. And then these are the languages. So let's just uncheck all and then just pick out the ones that we want. So we got English. Let's do. French, and then let's do one more. And then let's just do Italian as well. Okay, and then the settings here. So it's just saying, how do you want the widget to appear? So they have float, drop down, pop up, flag. We're just gonna keep it by the default with just the float. And this is the main language, so make sure this is set to your primary language. Okay, and then we're gonna try this and click save. Show floating language selector. Oh yeah, so we need to enable this one. So let's just put it at the top left, top right, and then click save. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so yep, yeah, so it's right here. So let's try French. Okay, so we're gonna take this short code over here and then we're gonna add it to the main menu. So go into appearances and then themes and then customize. Okay, and then over here in the header, we're just gonna add another element. Just gonna add a short code here and then we're gonna paste that. And then we're gonna click save. And then let's view the website now. Okay, so I'm logged out and just refresh the page and clear the cache. And there we go. So now the translations are working here. So we got French and then Italian. And then it also translates as you browse the website. So you don't need to do it each time. Awesome. So now we have a, a multi-language website with just a simple plugin like this. People can easily translate your content. Okay, so let's finish off with looking at the additional features of G-Translate. Okay, so you can also add some custom CSS here if you'd like to update the styling. And then they do have a pro version which allows for subdirectory URL changes and also uh, subdomain changes. So instead of translating the actual page, I'll just have a different domain for that content, which is better for SEO. You can rank for that specific region on Google. And then we check here on the side. Yeah, so it's, it's the paid version is just better for SEO. And you're able to also do manual translations. So if this is something you'd like to try, they have a free trial. But I think just the free version is good for getting started because it does allow for automatic translations. But you're not able to make any content edits if you want to fine tune the translations. They also have additional links here on how to videos. If you're looking to go into more detail about this plugin, and then they also have live chat for paid plans and then the forum. And then also there's a free forum for other inquiries, but I think this plugin is fairly simple to set up as we were able to get it set up in about five minutes. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to add multi-language functionality to your website so that users in other countries are able to understand your content. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.